Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker back for another adventure. Today, I'm taking you on a 45-mile, five-day wilderness backpacking adventure through Glacier National Park. Let's go. Good morning. It's just after nine o'clock and I'm leaving this beautiful lake, beautiful paradise, Red Eagle Lake. I've got 15.2 miles, I think, to get to Reynolds Lake. And Leaving Red Eagle behind, I felt the excitement building. I was headed deeper into the wilderness towards Rennell Creek and I couldn't wait to see what Glacier had in store. Kinda of sad to leave this place. Look ahead. It is so gorgeous. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on. One down, one more to go. Uh, where's the other side? Where do I go out? Back to the trail, because I don't want to go up that. Back on the trail, and it's starting to rain a little. There's a few spits. The trail to Rounds Creek was hot and burnt out. It began to sprinkle as I got closer to the campsite. Starting to see some bear scat on the trail. I'm glad I'm out of that burnt out area though. Look at that. Here's a little cave. Look at this. This is the type of habitat mountain lions like. I'm right on St. Mary's Lake. There's plenty of food.
imagine this in the spring when the snow is running off the mountains up above. It would be a beautiful waterfall. It is barely a trickle now. Look at what I found. So it's not far. It's not far. We found it. Reynolds Creek was a peaceful stop, a place where the water sang its own song. As I set up camp, I felt a deep respect for the wildness of this land, the animals, the plants, the very air, it all felt ancient, untouched by time. Good morning, I am all set, packed up, on the trail already, leaving Reynolds to go to Gunsight lake i'm excited and um there were eight others staying at that site last night and so ellie luke Paige, and tyler will be joining me at gun site they'll probably pass me on the trail because i hike so slow and then jody michael kevin and rowan are going to carry on and they're camping at they're going out to sperry cabin and they're camping at Mini Glacier and doing another hike starting tonight. And uh, so I probably won't see them again, but guys, it was nice meeting you. Nice sharing the site with you. From Reynolds Creek, I set my sights on Gunsight Lake, a place I'd heard was as beautiful as it was remote. The promise of what lay ahead kept my feet moving. very short hike today. I'm 2.2 miles away from my destination and it's not even 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna go up to Florence Falls. I'll take you. Let's go. The trail to the falls is very overgrown. Not a whole lot of traffic. It looks like back there a bear maybe had been bedded down. And uh, I would say it's probably not worth it. Um, but it's raining again and on a sunny day it might be a really nice shadier hike to do on a hot day in Glacier.
yeah, I'm turning back. That is Florence Falls. Uh, I am soaking wet. It is raining something furious, but I'm amazed at this gorgeous view. The mosquito on my ear. So we must be getting close because down there I see a structure and that's the campsite. Oh, it looks a little complicated. There are six sites. When I reached Gunsight Lake, it took my breath away. The sheer beauty of the lake, framed by jagged peaks, was awe-inspiring. This place felt like the heart of the glacier, raw, wild, and untamed. As night fell, clouds enveloped the mountains. I felt a sense of peace, but I also knew that the most challenging part of the hike was yet to come. Tomorrow, I would face Gunsight Pass and continue on to Lake Ellen Wilson, where the wilderness would reveal itself in unexpected ways.